today we are at the beach and I want to chat to you guys a little bit about what's been going on for me my injuries and how my dance training is going because I've had a few days off hasn't been the most smoothest ride but we're here we're doing the thing and we are listening to our body if you've been following along for a while you will know that I'm coming out of retirement from contemporary dance. I've also been training ballet just to get my strength up and my conditioning up. But basically my focus is to be a dance choreographer in contemporary dance again. And not necessarily like for a company or anything, but just for, I don't know, social media or I don't know, just for fun really. I've been training for about three weeks and look, I have a lot of existing injuries or old injuries that have started cro cropping up. Um, I, I'm going to just tell you them quickly. So I have torn ligaments in my ankles, I have broken toes, I've broken my wrist, I've had a knee reconstruction, I've um, torn my hip flexor which is the one that's giving me the most grief at the moment, plus like a myriad of other things mostly in my legs and feet. So all of the ballet, obviously you use your hip flexors a lot in ballet and basically what's happened is I've reignited the hip flexor injury. and. I don't think it's torn but I've definitely like aggravated it and it's definitely been not very happy so I've taken the last three days off I haven't been doing any like personal development I haven't been doing any dance training I've just been like lying in bed chilling out watching movies I haven't even done ice baths I haven't done breath work I haven't done anything which if you know me that's like very rare but really like the important thing right now is to listen to my body and to really like allow it to do its thing and to heal. So what I have been doing is um, researching a little bit more about the psoas. I know that from my massage career that glute strength and pelvic floor strength are very, very important. And I haven't been doing that <laughs> until the last few days. So I've been really like doing a lot of muscle release in the psoas and trying to stretch, which isn't really ever that effective with the psoas anyway. I've been doing a little bit of like core conditioning, a little bit of glute strength, but literally not enough to do anything. The main priority has been rest. I've also been using my Healy to try and like help the muscles recover and yeah. So I guess that's just like a mini update of what's been going on. Tessa has found a ball. It was a ball, now it's no longer a ball. Tessa. Uh, <laughs> she found a ball and now is now it is completely destroyed so that's great we've just been for a walk because obviously when you're injured mentally it takes a massive toll on your body on your mind um, and so I've just been feeling really gross really lethargic really just like a lot of mental struggles going on um, so just been for a little walk on the beach to just try and clear that up and also it's been raining so <laughs> I haven't really been able to like do my normal beach routine every day but yeah I'm feeling much better now I think I'm gonna start training again today I'm definitely gonna prioritize doing core conditioning and strength so maybe I will take you through a little bit of that Sometimes I like to just come to the beach and do my work from here because I obviously can do most of my work from my phone. It's just so peaceful.
do a little bit of ballet just to like move my muscles again and get them all firing and I won't probably won't do a whole class just to like ease myself back in but yeah let's just see <laughs> Okay, just done 15 minutes of intensive ballet. That's about as much as my hip can handle. And I'm sweating and I feel like that's a good start. Yeah, <laughs> really slow over here, really slow progress, but slow is better than no progress at all. So I'm happy and grateful that my body is doing this again after seven years. And yeah, I'm gonna go have an ice bath now. Catch you later. So I've been using the same water because I feel like I was wasting so much water. So I change it just every three days, which is kind of gross, but it's only like, I'm only in there for like five minutes, six minutes. So it's not that bad. You can really notice the difference when you've had three days off the ice baths. <laughs> I was like having a full body like, reaction when I got in but it's actually incredible like the recovery you can feel it move up through your body and then up through your mind and then all of a sudden like all of your worries just go away all of your mind becomes clear and it just the emotional change is like like within minutes it's mental anyway I'm gonna leave you guys here because I have to edit and upload this video today so I love you all if you like this video please like and subscribe it means the world to me and I will see you guys next time bye